Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're doing squaring and cubing. Now this is a very straightforward topic, it's not going to take very long so I'll just jump right in. Many of you will be familiar with this already. So if you take a number like 3 and you square it, you have to write a little 2 at the top right. And what that means is 3, the number here, has to times by itself. That's all it is. So 3 squared means the same thing as 3 times 3. The little 2 here, if you like, tells you how many 3's you've got to multiply together. 3 times 3 is obviously 9. So 3 squared will be 9. Now just be careful here. A lot of people when they see 3 squared, they do 3 times 2. And it's not. 3 times 2 would be 6. But this is 9, yeah? The squared is not multiplying the 3. The 2 here tells you how many 3's, in this case 2 of them, are multiplying each other. With squaring and cubing, the power tells you how many of them multiply each other. They're always multiplying each other. This number here, the 3, is called the base number sometimes. And it, you should only have multiples of the base number. So um, let's pick one more example. If we have 5 squared, that means you've got two 5's multiplying. So that's 5 times 5. Again, this is not 2 times 5. It's 5 times 5. Whatever the number is, it multiplies itself. 5 times 5 gives you 25. So that's squaring, and that's all there is to it really. So cubing, we'll leave that there. Uh, let's have two cubed. Now again, the power, as we call it, the number at the top right is the power. So for it's a two if you're squaring, and you write a three if you're cubing. So two cubed means you've got three twos all multiplying together. It's two times two times another two. Now 2 times 2 would be 4, times that by another 2, 4 times 2, gives you 8. Now again, be careful here, it's not 3 times 2, 3 times 2 would be 6. It's not 6, it's 8. The power, the 3, tells you how many 2's you've got. 1, 2, 3 2's all multiplying together, gives you 8. So if you're cubing, you take whatever the base number is, the 2 in this case, and you times it by itself 3 times. So the 3 of them multiplying together. One more example, let's have 4 cubed, so that means we need 3 4's multiplying together. So it's 4 times 4 times 4. Not 3 times 4, 3 4's all multiplying. Well 4 times 4 is 16, times that by another 4, that's a little bit trickier, I think you're going to get 64. And that's how you cube. So squaring means whatever the base number is, times it by itself. If you're cubing, whatever the base number is, you times it by itself so that there are three of them multiplying. Two times two times another two. Incidentally, you might wonder why it's called squaring and cubing. Let me tell you. Imagine you've got a square and the length of one side is, uh, let's go with three here. That means all the sides have to be three on a square. All four sides have to be the same length. So to work out the area of this square, well, you just multiply the two sides. It's 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. Yeah, 3 squared is 3 times 3. The area here is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. So the reason, I'm obviously going to give you 9, but the reason this is called squaring is because it gives you, it's because it gives you the area of a square. Yeah. All right, cubing. Imagine we've got a cube, just a little bit harder to draw. There we go, that's not too shabby. Right, uh, let's imagine the length of one side this time is 2. So that means all the sides are going to have a length of 2. So it's too high, it's too wide, it's too deep. So to work out the volume here, for any cube, you multiply these three dimensions. It's the height times the width times the depth. So it's 2 times 2 times 2. Oh, hang on. 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 cubed. So the volume here is 2 cubed, which, as we saw before, is 8. So the reason it's called cubing is because it gives you the volume of a cube. Yeah! So that's why it's squaring and cubing. Squaring because it gives you the area of a square, and cubing because it gives you the volume of a cube. But it's very straightforward in practice. Squaring, multiply by itself. 
cubing, three of them multiplying together. But don't be tempted to multiply the power by the base number. That always gives you the wrong answer. All right, so my name is Jonathan Hicks, and you're watching Teach Me Maths. Thank you.